Hey everyone, I'm Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back. The 2019 F-250 Super Duty, the Super Beast is back. For you old OG people, you know this made its debut on the channel about two years ago. Well, things have changed on the channel and well, YouTube has made our channel all about motorcycles and we don't get much love on the trucks anymore and the vehicles, but um, you OG guys have been asking for a Super Beast modification update, which is here for you guys today. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are familiar with my collection of motorcycles, this, this is my $100,000 Super Beast. It's a 19 F250 Super Duty. I bought it brand new and uh, basically I've built the truck that I always have dreamed of. Some of these things that you guys will see you may not be a fan of, but remember this is my truck and I built it the way I want. Now I have a list and I've had to bring the list with me. There's so much stuff done to this truck that we're going to walk through and talk about everything we've done and uh, I don't know that there's much plans for it uh, in the future except a beautiful driving truck but uh, let's go ahead and walk through uh, the different sections of modifications that we've done to the truck and uh, give you guys a final update on the Super Beast. All right well we're first going to start on the engine bay here. Uh, excuse it's a little mess I haven't cleaned the engine in so quite some time but uh, let's talk about the engine modifications we've have to the truck. Now in the engine we have the AFE uh, hot side turbo pipe with the H and S cold side turbo pipe. We have the S and B air filter with the battery relocation. As you guys know, 2019, they relocated the battery. So now we're in the back. And uh, as far as engine wise, there's not much more in here. You guys will notice the rocker panel for the lights. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, this is basically just the engine. Now, coming down to this side of the vehicle, you'll see that we have a fuel system uh, by AFE DFS 780, which is uh, the basically an additional auxiliary fuel pump. It is set up for boost uh, only. And then if we come over to this side, some of you guys may know the controversy that we've caused with the Amsoil bypass filter has been installed. And you guys can kind of see that up in there. And uh, we also have, while we're down here, we have a BD diesel, uh, diesel transmission pan with a MagTech oil pan. Both are deep. And then on the back, we'll get to that in a second, but we have the rear differential cover by BD diesel back here. The truck is tuned and deleted by Proven Diesel. And we are running an Easy Link system. And then uh, some of you guys have seen my High Flow Cat. It is a five inch turbo back with the anti-drone system, five inches all the way back out to the back of the truck. So that's pretty much all of the modifications that we have engine wise let's go ahead into the body modifications and show you guys what we've done uh, in addition to the body for the super beast all right well i've got to give huge props and credit to eddie with shred dog hydrographics most of you guys know him he paints all my motorcycles he's done most of the paint work here on the super beast but let's go ahead and start up front with the uh, modifications on the hood you can see we've got a nice decal on the hood although we had some problems, but uh, decal on the hood. We also have the Super Duty up front, platinum and Super Duty in the back in the black lettering. The grill has been tinted. Well, I'll show you the back because it looks a little bit better, but the grill's been tinted, uh, chrome delete's been done. You can see we've blacked out the tow hooks. Coming down the side, you'll see the massive Bushwhacker extender flares. And these extender flares have been paint matched to obviously match the truck. Uh, again, chrome delete. So mirrors have been blocked out. And the trim here has been all blacked out. We also painted the pillars black. 
The door handles have all been paint matched. And then down below the chrome strip has been wrapped in matte black. So we've uh, eliminated that chrome there. Again, a Bushwhacker extended fender in the rear. And uh, here you can see the placking just a little bit better. It's almost like a bronze double dark tint. It's really not black, but you can kind of see through it. It's, it's very unique what we did here and I really love it. We're gonna redo the front grill, but uh, obviously the Super Duty back here and, uh, and then all of the badging has all been done in black. And then up again to the front side, the, we're talking about the badging. We have the 6.7 Power Stroke all uh, blacked out along with the platinum side grill. And then uh, we'll talk about the lights, but the lights are smoked out there. The rear tail light has been smoked out for the third brake light. And these tail lights are also smoked out. And uh, we do have a Rhinex or Linex uh, liner in the back, and then we have a little extra uh, storage space there, but uh, that about does it for the body modifications. So let's go ahead and talk about the wheels, suspension, and uh, the drivetrain on the truck. All right, so a lot of you guys have not seen the truck sitting the way it sits. We have finally lifted the truck. A four inch BDS radial arm lift has been added. So we're four inches. I think it's actually four inches in the front. And then I think they only do two inches in the rear. In the rear, we've uh, included the Airlift 7500 bags to help with the rear end. And we are sitting on brand new uh, Fuel Blitz with the double dark tint. You can see it's kind of got that same kind of coloring that the plaque on the back and the grill has with that kind of bronzy black look. And uh, those are 22 by 10s. And uh, of course, you guys know I love my Federal Explorer MTS. They are 37, 12 and a half by 22s. I absolutely love them. We're running uh, Fox shocks front and rear. But before we ran the Fox shocks, I added one thing, the Superlift Bilstein dual uh, steering stabilizer down here because it's just, it, this thing's bump steer was, was pretty crazy. And so that's pretty it, pretty much it for the suspension. And, uh, oh, the brakes. Let's talk about the brakes because I have replaced the brakes. These are the Power Stop rotors drilled and slotted with the Power Stop uh, performance towing performance uh, pads. If you guys are looking for new uh, brake rotors, I highly recommend them. These are great. So uh, that wraps up the full suspension and wheel setup. Well, you sure do see this truck coming down the road. Uh, so the lighting system, most of the lights are installed in the front. We have, uh, you guys know, functioning driving lights and these things are bright so these are functional driving light bars um, that are on a rocker switch which we'll talk about when we get inside but uh, some of the other uh, lights that we've added to the front and again this might not be uh, some people's cup of tea but for me I really love the way that the truck looks in the front end so we have the black Morimoto uh, headlights that have been foreskin to, to run the amber uh, daytime running lights, which is kind of funny because now they've got a daytime running light in amber available, which you can just foreskin this one, by the way. Uh, we have the Morimoto LED fog lights and the Putco front lighted emblem. And then down below, we do have a two wheel drive Valis and we have the Raycon uh, Valis lights. Again, this is kind of a controversial thing, but really when you look at it, it just kind of ties all together. So very nice with the lights up here. Again, uh, the mirror lights, we talked about this is the recon um, tinted running lights in white amber uh, blinkers. And then back here, we have a very, very cool light modification that you guys probably have 
never seen or ever wondered about. That is the Raycon F450 Super Duty uh, DOT light. And actually I thought about doing some DOT lighting on the front fenders so we would have the amber up here and the red in the back, but nah, it didn't really end up with that, so. All right, and just a few little add-ons that I forgot. So we are running the Ronin uh, Stubby antenna, which I don't use the antenna much, um, usually on Pandora or whatnot. So um, we do have that for looks. One of the big things I forgot to tell you guys, and uh, you know, I did a video on it, but again, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we do have the uh, Horn Blasters train uh, conductor set up in here and boy is it loud. But uh, you can see there's the BD pan for the rear. And uh, we are running a Gen Y uh, trailer hitch, the big dog here. But let's go ahead and run inside and take a look at a few of the interior modifications that we've done. Nothing too major in here. So one of the first things I really wanted was this, these illuminated plaque in platinum, so that's one of the mods we did. Here's our switch on the fly for the Easy Link. But, oh, the new baby here. We have the Tesla style screen. Let's go ahead and pull up YouTube. I love it. Pulled the internet up into the truck so now I can watch YouTube or Hulu or whatnot. So um, very nice. This is the Gen 5, very, very great system. A little bit laggy is probably my only complaint about this, but uh, outside of that, very nice. We have our uh, owl cam up here, which you guys may have heard or seen some of those videos. Uh, so we've got the rocker switches up here. We've got the front fog lights and then we have the rear train horn up there. Uh, let's see, what else have we done up here? Nothing, nothing major, radar. Um, we do have our pro clip. I love this phone clip. If you guys haven't seen this, very, very nice. Very nice, but uh, outside that, man, the Super Duty, we're running 65,000 miles on this truck. And uh, I have to say, I couldn't be much happier with this so so if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button smash the like button and uh, i'm gonna link down below uh all of the modifications that we've done if you guys have any questions about the truck let me know uh i absolutely love it as you guys probably can see um but everything will be linked down below if you guys are interested in some old horrible videos when we first started the channel two years ago um there's a plenty of not so great videos of me trying to make on this stuff but uh anyways uh, og guys thank you guys for sticking around i do appreciate it uh, the super beast is looking mighty fine so thank you guys for all your support and uh we'll see you next video bye guys